hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is dolly b if you're new on this channel welcome if you are not new welcome thank you so much for the support thanks for all the likes thanks for all your comments and for all the prayers i really really appreciate you guys many of you requested for this video and yes you have it in today's video i'll be showing us how to mold or block cinnamon now I'll be showing us the materials I use in making my fascinator or mini art. The first thing you need is a mold and as you can see on the screen these are molds. There are different kinds of molds. They come in different shapes and sizes. This is cinnamon, this is stiffener, a ribbon, a gum brush, scissors, fishing line, needle thumb paints uhe glue or b6000 glue or any good glue of choice petroleum jelly water and a container to mix our stiffener millinery wire any tape a plastic bag or nylon i will show you other materials i used while working Please watch this video to the end so that you get every bit of it. And if you have any questions, can you drop them in the comment section below? Now I'll start by wrapping my mold with my plastic bag. This is to protect my mold and I apply petroleum jelly. You can use any oil like olive oil. This enables you to take off your cinnamon from your mold easily after it is dry. Now the next thing is to cover my mold with my cinnamon and I'm going to double my cinnamon. The cinnamon should be able to cover my mold properly, meaning that I should have about 4 inches extra because of this exact mold I'm using. I need to have about 4 inches extra on the fourth side. This will enable it to cover my mold properly. Since I've gotten the amount of cinnamon that I need to cover my mold, I'm going to cut it out like this. Are you new on this channel or you've been watching my videos you've not subscribed? Kindly subscribe now. Click the subscribe button and tap the bell icon beside it. This will enable you to receive all notifications whenever I upload a new video. We have a lot to learn on this channel. Before this step, please, all I did was to dip my cinnamon into a bowl of water and I used my towel to drain the excess water before pinning it down to my mold. For any kind of mold you want to use, all you just need to do is follow the shape of the mold. For this particular mold I'm using, as you can see, I just follow the shape of the mold and I pin down like that. I just pin down, follow the shape of the mold and make sure it is very very neat while doing this. So friends, just watch what I'm doing. Please follow me on my Instagram and Facebook pages at WB Crafties. Now I've turned my mold upside down and I followed the same shape to place my cinnamon. Now look at the directions I'm taking to pin my cinnamon to my mold just like I mentioned in my other videos. After pinning down one side, I move to the opposite direction. I come to the side, then move to the opposite direction like you're doing north, south, east and west so you're going to follow the same directions in pinning down your cinnamon all around your mold
Now, I have poured some amount of stiffener into my container and I had little water, like two tablespoons. Depends on the consistency I want. Please ensure that your stiffener is not light. It must not be light. It must just be okay for you to use on your cinnamon because if it is too light, you won't get a good result. Now, I have started applying my stiffener. Please apply your stiffener very, very well. Don't be stingy with your stiffener. Put it very, very well low. So that you can have a very good result else the art of fascinator may get damaged in time i turn it over and i apply my stiffener there as well having done that i'm going to leave this for six hours Depends on the weather between 6 hours, 6 to 24 hours for it to dry. And after it is dry, this whitish substance or this whitish color disappears. So friends, this is day 2. It is dry and I take off all the pins. and gently take off my cinnamon from the mold you know it was lubricated before we started so this will allow your mold come out easily Now the next thing I'm doing is to measure my base. This will enable us to know the length of wire. The length of millinery wire we'll be needing to continue with the procedure. After taking my tape round my base like that, I think what I got was about 29 inches and I had it 2 inches to overlap my wire and I used my tape to wrap the points that they overlap i just wrap it like that you can use paper tape cello tape but i'm using insulation tape here so i insert my wire into my base like this and i cover it up but with my fishing line and needle i'm going to be sewing my wire into my cinnamon to secure it properly you can use glue if you want to but i prefer to sew it down so that it lasts longer so just watch what I'm doing. I'm going to sew it like that round. So I'll still use my UHE glue to cover these edges, I just cover them and use my clip to hold them down while I do this.
Now I use my ribbon to make it neat. I just cover the edges like that round. You can use Peter Sham ribbon or you use bias or any fine trimmings you come across. So I'm going to just do that round using my glue. I also use my clips to hold them to secure it while it dries up, you know. So it's secure, it just keeps it in place while it dries up. Now I'm done placing my ribbon under my base and once it is dry, I take off the clips. So the next thing I'll be doing is to attach my band. I'm using elastic band here. You can make use of Alice band, okay? And I'll be attaching my band using my needle and fishing line. Okay, now I'm using a piece of fabric. I use scuba fabric here. I just cut out a rectangle that will be enough to cover the part I want to cover now. And with my glue, I'm going to use that to cover that um, middle part. So just apply pressure and allow it to dry. Make sure it is well glued to your fascinator. Now we are almost done and I am just um, trying to embellish my fascinator. This is trimmings that I'm using here. I'm going to glue it round those parts I took off the paints earlier. So all you just need to do is cover those parts up with any accessory you want to embellish with. So I'm just going to use the trimmings to cover it round like that using my glue. Allow it dry and that is it guys. I'll be using my clip to hold it down while it dries up. You see, you really need to take your time while doing this so that you can have a very neat job. You need to take your time. It's not something you just rush into. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not. Tap the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload videos. So and now I have this flower brooch to embellish more. I just use my glue to attach it there and still use my fishing line and needle to secure it properly. I may also decide to embellish with feathers later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the tutorial is well explained. Please drop any question you have in the comment section. I assure you I'm going to attend to them all. Kindly share this video with your friends. Click on the like button. This will motivate me to do more. You know, you also need to help my ministry. So once you show some love, I also want to do more. I'll be posting more tutorials soon. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.